running combine and have that view over there, that's just pretty awesome. That's almost as awesome as watching that Mike Les guy on YouTube. That is one good looking tractor and grain cart. Hello YouTube, how about another crop report from Southern Dark County, Ohio. It is Monday morning, July 12th, and I'm standing here in a beautiful field of corn. I just got back from about a 12 day vacation, went out west to uh, Utah, Montana, and drove back. And when I got home yesterday, I dumped almost six inches of rain out of my rain gauge. So we got a lot of rain while I was gone. Crops are looking good. There's a chance of rain every day this week, but we're gonna walk in this field of corn. We're gonna check this out. So as you can see, we got tassel, corn's taller than me, and we got silk, we got ears coming. And we'll take some aerial views of some of the corn. As you can see, the tassel's coming, and we got a nice even stand here pretty much all the way across. So looking really good. Look at that corn just waving at you. Everybody make sure to wave back now. Okay, that was a little bit corny, but I have a weird sense of humor, so you just have to know me. So now, let's go deep in the forest and see what's really going on. I'm standing in this field of corn, and this is the first field that was planted on April 6th, and as you can see, I've talked about this in the other crop report videos. This is snowed on, frosted, all that good stuff. And it's taller than me. It's tasseled out. And we got silk. We got ears coming. We'll head over to this field across the road. This was planted about three weeks after that field. So it's a little bit farther behind. But I can see the tassels coming. And we'll walk in here and take a look. And uh, really, it's just as tall, maybe a little bit taller even. So this field did not get snowed on and get all the frost and all that good stuff. So sometimes uh, you're better off to wait and sometimes it's just a chance you take. But anyways, uh, it's looking good. Crops. I missed out on the Ohio winter wheat harvest because I was screwing off on vacation. But uh, anyways, uh, went pretty good. They got the straw baled, uh, put some chicken manure down, and got some of it worked in, actually. And this will get a cover crop. But it looks like most of the farmers in the area did get the winter wheat off, but there's still a lot of straw to bale that I could see. Uh, this field here, uh, not our field. And uh, just worst case scenario, just showing you a field that's had too much water here. As I was driving by, I thought I'd show it, but uh, you can see there is some excess in some of the fields here from too much water. Let's go have a look at some soybeans now. Yeah, these are growing. Just for reference, I'm six foot tall. Kind of gives you an idea where the crops are right now. See some flowers. These are looking pretty good, but we'll take a drone view here. Hang on. Oh 
As you can see, these soybeans are just looking pretty good. So this field here was corn last year, and we worked part of this field with the Versatile Fury High Speed Disc, and then we got rained out, and it was late in the season, never did get to come back and finish it. So most of this field was planted uh, no-till in the last year's corn stalks, but now you can't even tell that. Soybeans are up high enough over the corn stalks, whatnot, but some areas here you can see from the aerial view that maybe had too much water. This field was recently sprayed. That's what those marks are right there, but overall, got to be pretty happy with uh, what we're seeing. I did see a few Japanese beetles in the field here, so getting some of that, but uh, not much you can do about that. That's just all part of it. Of course, usually here we get dry in August and so forth. That's when the soybeans really need to water when the pods are filling out whatnot, but we'll see what happens. We've been getting a lot of rain. Uh, forecast, uh, extended forecast looks good for rain, and we'll just have to wait and see what happens, but I'm going to try to keep you guys updated every couple weeks. What's going on here? And as much as I enjoy summer and the warm weather, uh, it'll probably be harvest time before we know it. I should mention what I saw in my travel. So my wife and I left Ohio. We drove out to the Salt Lake City area of Utah, visited my son Andrew, daughter-in-law Lexi. We spent the 4th of July there. And overall, crops look pretty good across Indiana, Illinois, Iowa, Nebraska, and so forth. Uh, on the way back now, when we was coming across Nebraska, they must have had a bad windstorm. A lot of the corn was blown down, and there was a lot of the irrigation pivots that were all twisted up and blown over. I understand it's very dry in a lot of Montana and uh, some crop failures there, maybe some of the Dakotas and so forth. We didn't come across there, so I didn't get to see that. But um, overall, through a lot of the corn belt, from what I can see, so far everything is looking good. And things can change fast, so we'll just have to wait and see what happens. I should also point out that maybe not everybody should do this with their drone. Um, it does hurt if you uh, don't get it quite right. And that's going to do it for the official crop report as of now. I'll try to get another one up here in two weeks. But anyways, feel free to hit that like button and comment below. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. And stay tuned. I still got a lot of good farming content coming to my YouTube channel. And as always, thanks for watching and supporting my social media. If you want to see more of what I'm doing, you can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Farmhand Mike. And I think that's going to do it. But like I said, I got a lot of good stuff coming, so stay tuned.